Okay, uh, what we're going to do basically is we're going to build up a simple website that matches this layout. Okay, so we're going to have a logo here, navigation here. These guys down here are going to hold text. These ones here are going to hold image uh, images. Okay, so let's move on to the Mac operating system and uh, see what we can make. Okay, so we're going to be using Sublime. So down here, I'm going to click on that, open it up. Okay, so that's ready to rock and rumble. Now, on the desktop, I'm going to create a new folder. So that's right click new folder. It's going to be my website. I'm going to go into my website by double clicking it. Right click new folder. CSS page. Right click new folder. I'm going to have a pages pay folder. Uh, right click new folder. And I'm going to have images in here. Apparently, I can't spell the word images. That's all right. Let's just drop him into the trash. Right click new folder. Images. Cool. Now, I do have some images which I've got from the internet from here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag these guys and put them inside the images folder here. So, if I click here, I've got all my images inside this folder. Okay. So, now let's close off that spare one. Minimize this. Let's get this guy out of the way. So, let's start with Sublime. So, what we're going to do is we're going to create the doc type first. So, we're going to doc type HTML. Oops. HTML. Tab it out. We do the head section first. By the body section. And then we close off our HTML. Now, notice how this doesn't actually have anything going for it at the moment. Oh, that's right. N doesn't work. Um, so, when I say it doesn't have anything going for it, I'm saying it doesn't have color coding for it. That's because I haven't saved yet. Uh, so, title, we'll just go to be robots slash title. Okay, now from here, I'm going to go uh, file, save as. So this thing's going to save inside my website folder, and I'm going to save the type as index.html. So hit save like that. Now notice how here it's got color coding kicking in, and if I bring my folder back into play, you can see my index page is now linked up with everything else. It's in the same folder. So my entire website is inside this website folder. So now let's have a look at this structure. So we get div id equals page div ud page cool now inside the page we have div header div id equals the header header Make sure you've got two minus signs there. Two hyphens, I should say. Div id equals content. Now, my div header contains a logo. Div id equals the logo. And I also have div id equals uh, dnav. Cool. So that's the top part. Now my dcontent contains a left and a right. So I've got to put that in div id equals dleft. Remember, the more boxes we have, the more control that we have over everything. So, it's not a bad thing to break this down. Uh, quite a bit. Deep right. Slash div. OD right. 
notice I just forgot my EO. Okay, so just remember EO stands as a shorthand for end of. Now, my left uh, contains div id equals. Uh, now, in the tutorial, we called it d text for d left, and on the right, we called it d images, but the boxes are exactly the same. So, in this case, I'm going to call it d box, okay? Just for something different. EOD box. So from here, let's try it this way. Just to speed things up, I'm just going to copy and paste. And paste. Now, as I said, we're going to do the exact same thing for D right, so I might as well just copy these guys, come down here, right click and paste. Okay, so that's the structure that we had for our uh, paint picture. So if I go File Save, always remember to do a backup, so save often. Now, from here what we do is we're going to start putting the styles on. Styles still occur up inside the head section. So you go Style, Type, Equals, Text, Slash, C, works better with a slash, CSS, style. So the first one I'm starting off with is D page. Okay, so remember we work from the big to the bottom. So we go D page and we go the width is a thousand pixels. The height is twelve hundred pixels. The background color is lime and margin zero auto. Okay, so from here, that's the first style. Remember, when you do one style, do a file save. Then what we do is we want to test it, so let's just open it up in... So that's it zoomed in. So now I'm going to get back to Sublime, so I'm just going to hide Chrome. Like so. Back to here. So, the first one works. Now, the next one is D header. Okay. So we put in the width, 1,000 pixels. Okay. Just a file save and a refresh. So that then fixes it all up. Okay. Now, these are all of our styles. Quite happy with that. Now, what we're going to do is we're now going to make a style sheet. So we go File, New File. Okay, and then from here we're just going to take this stuff, we're going to cut it, go to the new file, right click, paste. Okay, and now we go file, save as. In here we're going to call this one style sheet.css. We're going to save that. Okay, so we've got a style sheet, and there's our index. Now, what we're going to do, is if I click back on Chrome and then hide it, okay, because if I refresh it right now, this is just not going to work. Okay. Did I save that? File. Save. Okay, so that's saved, that's saved. Refresh. That's better. Now, the reason why that didn't work is because we've moved all of our styles off index, but we haven't linked it up. We'll link it up in a second. Okay, so let's go back to Chrome, and we'll hide Chrome, so we can see stuff. Now, here I've got my style sheet next to my index, and I want to put it in my CSS. So let's drag this guy into here. Okay, so if you take a look, the CSS contains the style sheet. So now, on here, let's go link. And we go href equals, so we need the folder that it's in. Uh, style sheet works better if you can spell it sheet still can't do it s h e e t dot c s s type equals text c s s uh is it type or rel i think it's rel 
let me check. Uh, no, that's right. I've just got to put in the rail part, which says style sheet. Okay, CSS style sheet. CSS. Cool. So now let's go file, save. Let's go back to Chrome. And let's refresh the page. Now everything's turned back up again. Okay. So what we've done there is I'll just hide Chrome again is by using typing this in we've linked up this index page with that style sheet remember that style sheets inside the CSS here which is what we wanted now what we can do is we're going to start putting in some of these images so all of our images we're going to put inside um, so we've got a logo to go there and we've got images to go there okay so let's just I can't spell the apparently. So let's just save that and run it up and have a quick look. So we file save. I go back to Chrome and I refresh. So as you can see my images don't fit here. That's because we haven't made the class yet. So now let's hide Chrome. Now up here on my style it's a dot because it's a class. Image size. Put in my curly fries. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify the height to be three, no, to be 270 pixels. Okay. Then I'm going to save that like so. Then if I go back to Chrome and refresh my page, all my images now fit. Okay. So let's rehide Chrome. Okay. So let's put the logo in now. So we go image source equals images slash logo dot png alt equals robot logo class equals we're going to call this one logo size I'm going to close that off there let's go dot logo size and we'll change it to width of 300 pixels. So if we um, file save, jump back into Chrome, refresh it, my logo should fit up the top here. So, so far so good. Now we're going to throw some text in here. So over off on the wiki page, I'm just going to grab a little bit of text. Click copy that. Hide Chrome. Now this is going to go inside the div up here. So that's right. I've got to right click and paste. We'll just do it for the other ones as well, just so there's some um, actual content there. And paste. So we'll just see what that looks like. Okay, so our page is getting information in there. See, it's starting to look like a website. So let's hide Google Chrome. Now, the next thing we're going to do is right, we're going to build the navigation. So in here, always make one to itself. So we go href equals index.html. We go home slash a href equals. Now, this will be stored in the pages folder. And we'll just call this one page one. Actually, we'll just do this one as Asimov, Asimo. HTML. Asimo. Slash a. href equals pages slash bot. HTML. We'll go. This is a robot. And we'll go a href equals pages slash the band.html okay so now we'll just see what that does we have file save jump into chrome again refresh the page now I'm going to modify that zoom in so we zoom in a bit more back to 90% we go up to 100% here okay so as you can see we've now got links up the top 
Our text is all in there. So let's hide Chrome again. So we've got it, but we want it bigger. So we're going to put our text in the center. So I'm going to go over to the style sheet. And on here, I'm going to go text align. And I'm going to center. Okay, then I'll jump back here and I'm going to go hash dnav a. Okay, so this means inside the dnav div box, I'm going to pick on any attribute that has an A and I'm going to go font size and we'll say 32 pixels and let's see what else will we do we'll go text decoration is none and we'll go padding off the right of 50 pixels and let's change the color to black Okay, so let's save that. So we file, save, back in a Chrome, refresh the page. So there we go, some nice big links. Actually, I think what we might do is we might might see about moving that all the way over there. Let's hide that. So let's jump back into this guy here. We'll change it from that to text align. This line right. File, save. You've got to always remember to save things in this thing. Now, there's one other thing that I'm going to do to it, and that's going to be hash the nav. On the A tag, I'm going to modify its hover capability. So when I run over it, I want it to turn red. So we file, save on that one. Jump back into Chrome. Refresh. So now, as you can see, that's coming up there. So what we're going to do is we're now going to just tidy up all these colored boxes. Okay. So if we hide Chrome, go back into the style sheet. Now, to move this stuff, because you want this on everything, just right click, cut, go to your style sheet, go to the end line, and then go right click and go paste. So they're all there and it probably pays to just keep it all nice and neat and tidy okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe out these background colors like this because uh, what we want is we actually want the white background I'm not too worried about um, worrying where all my colored boxes are because they're all in the right spot okay and I know that because they all fit properly okay so let's just do a quick check yep 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 awesome let's go file save come back to here refresh the page okay so this is not what I expected okay so that's quite a pain so in Sublime, now remember, what we were doing is we are actually looking at this one here. Notice how it doesn't have everything that we copied over? For some reason, I haven't figured this one out yet, I don't know why it did it. What it's done is it's actually created a brand new style sheet here. Now if I double click that, this is the one that I'm looking for. Okay, so what I will do, is if I go back to my finder, so that style sheet there is wrong. So if I delete, well, let's go um, right click, move that guy to trash. This guy here, I'm going to drag and put into the style sheet. Or not. Okay, so there we go. So now it's in the CSS. So that's an interesting side effect. I don't know what caused that. There we go. So if I refresh it, as you can see, now I've got everything fitting and looking a bit nicer and my links and that and everything's working the way I actually expected it to do um, so yeah so that's interesting Sublime somehow duplicated up my um, see how I created this thing here this other style sheet not what I wanted I actually wanted the style sheet that was in here so I suspect it just didn't like the mapping that I was doing but that's alright we've got that 
Oh, it still maintains my horrible spelling of the band. So let's just put that in. I'll go file save. So now let's just make Asimo. So that's going to be the next page. From here we can go file save as. Now it's going to save it inside the website here. So we go Asimo. Alright, so now notice here I'm on the Asimo one. I've just got to fix up some of these bits here. So I've got to tell this to go back one level to go forward one level. I'll keep double dot and slash, so I keep going to that. This guy here has double dot and slash. I don't need the pages folder there because it's not going that way. Now, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep one of these boxes. So I'll just highlight all that, get rid of that. And we'll keep the Asimo picture here. Okay. So remember, this is the robots, and we'll change the title to hyphen Asimo, and we'll go File, Save. So now I'm just going to close it in Sublime, and I'm going to jump back here into my Finder. Now, if you notice, Asimo is not in that folder, even though I want it to be, so I'll just drag and put him into here. Now if I double-click him, so there's that. Now if I click on Asimo, Right, so I didn't fix up that image. But as you can see, the styles have all changed. So let's go and have a look. So we go File, Open, Pages, Asimo. And that would have been here. So we go dot dot slash. We just go File, Save, Jump Back, Refresh the page. So we've got Asimo up. So now I can go from Home to Asimo. Okay? And I think 30 minutes worth of video is sufficient. So that should be enough to get you well underway using um, Sublime. As I said, just keep your eye open for things not going in the right way. Make sure you keep an eye on the pathing as well. Okay, there we go.